Um, one of the most important things for flirting is confidence, and confidence is how you hold yourself, how you stand up, how you sit, so when you're sitting up straight, and also taking up a lot of space. So watch as Ryan demonstrates. Put your arms out to the side. Own the chair. Feel comfortable in the chair. You want to feel comfortable in all of your body and, and feel really um, just an ease of movement in, in your expression. When you want to get a little closer when you're trying to flirt with someone and what also is helpful is when you reach out a hand and you can put it on their arm. And that helps people feel connected. And also any contact um, solidifies the, the budding connection that you have as romantic uh, dating, flirting between the other person. The other important tip is to make eye contact. This is very important. Notice how Ryan and I are making eye contact. This is a very good instance of eye contact. You wanna make sure you're looking at the person you're flirting with. That uh, encourages people to feel comfortable with you. If you're trying to really communicate that you're interested with someone, lean forward and make sure that all of your limbs, to the best of your ability, are pointed towards the person you're flirting with. If you feel anxious, relax and take a deep breath. And then, as Ryan is demonstrating, you'll feel much more confident and much more able to flirt with that attractive certain somebody. So one of the things that's very important with flirting is to remember to laugh often. So as Ryan and I are sitting here and I'm trying to flirt with him, I may try to make a joke just to lighten the mood. Or even if it gets awkward and uncomfortable, I might smile and say, oh, that was an awkward moment. This is a funny part in the conversation. And then everyone would laugh and flirting would be more lightweight um, and, and the whole mood is more easygoing and happy, which is very important in flirting because if you're not having a good time, you're not doing it right. Looking relaxed and open with your posture. So maybe if you leaned back a little bit and opened, opened your arms up and maybe if you put your arms out like this because anytime your hands are closed or folded or in your pockets that is a kind of a, a back off message to people so you want to bring people in so and when your chest is open that's when people come towards you and want to feel closer to you if you are someone who talks with their hands a lot try not to make um, exaggerated gestures with your hands in case you're wondering if someone else is interested take the tips that we gave you about body language and think about them backwards if someone is facing away from you or has their hands in their pocket or um, won't make eye contact that usually is an indication that someone isn't interested so if that's ever a question you can take that um, the, the positives of body language and when you flip them around that's also how you can interpret if someone isn't interested top top tip number one is confidence a lot of people don't feel confident when flirting and it's understandable because it's hard to feel confident when you have faced rejection or you're not sure who what to do how to flirt it can be very disconcerting but anyone can flirt and you should be confident about that because you can do it and if you're having a hard time mustering up the confidence imagine something you do really well if it's playing badminton if it's playing cards if it's um getting along with other people. Focus on that when you're trying to flirt and then generalize that confidence and, and, and just apply that as much as you can to other parts of your life. In this instance, flirting. And with that, you can be very successful because flirting is not as hard as it looks.